Hey, what's up guys? Jason here. I'm here to explain what is on the water environmental depth portion of the civil engineering PE exam. I am going to be following the specifications that is published on the NCES website. Um, so if you have it, it will help you a lot to follow this video. Uh, basically, there are nine points on the depth portion. The ninth one is engineering economics, so it doesn't even count, so there's eight. So the depth, you'll be tested on basically the water, which is exactly the same as the AM portion, and the environmental. The environmental, you need to know, recognize that is divided into water and wastewater. And this water is different from the water, the water water in the AM. This water means potable water, drinking water. The amount of water storage a city needs, uh, this is the water that's going to come out from your faucet, uh, your shower hose. And for the other half of the environmental is wastewater. Wastewater means poop. This is the water going out from the house hose. So the equations for the potable water and wastewater are very, very similar. Some are identical, but others are not. You need to recognize which one to use. The specification does not really give you a really good explanation on which one is which. I will provide that explanation for you. So let's begin on number one, analysis and design. Analysis um, A, mass, balance, oxygen demand. So this is chemistry, right? So this is um, solving for giving a milligram per liter of uh, a formula. What is the milligram, equivalent milligram per liter of oxygen? Right, so you times it by the mole and grams per mole. B, hydraulic loading. Hydraulic loading is applicable to both water and wastewater. The most important equation that you need to know um, is small q equals flow rate q over area. Right, this equation will be used for both water and wastewater. And you also need to know detention time. Time equals volume over flow rate Q. And this you need to multiply by 7.48 gallon per cubic feet conversion rate. This you'll use a lot. So be mindful of um, converting into gallon. C, solids loading. Solids loading is wastewater. What is a solid? It's poop, right? So solid loading, the equation, the most important equation you need to know. This equation is used 50% of the time for the environmental depth. And this equation is a loading rate, right? So uh, it goes uh, loading rate equals concentration, unit is milligram per liter, times Q, flow rate, uh, gallon per day, times by the conversion unit, which is 8.345 times 10 to the negative 6. The unit for this constant is pound liter over milligram gallon. This is the most important equation that you need to know for the environmental. Um, D, hydraulic loading measurement. Um, this is a water problem. So um, hydraulic loading measurement takes place in a partial flume. Um, number two, hydraulics. Closed conduit. So this is the exact same as the AM portion. Uh, you need to know A in energy continuity equation. So energy equation is Bernoulli's equation. Remember, upstream, downstream, um, velocity head, pressure head, elevation head equals the other velocity head, pressure head, elevation head, and friction head and minor head loss. So for friction head, you can use Hazen Williams or Darcy Wisbatch, right? Um, for minor head loss, you use uh, H equals KV squared over 2G. B, pressure conduit. So this is a uh, hazing rule in Dar Darcy West Batch. For Darcy West Batch, you need to use the Moody's diagram. Um, there's also equivalent length for um, friction head loss. You can find it in appendix a47 
C, pump application. So pumps uh, is not tested in the AM, but it is tested in the PM. Um, you need to know the equation for the pump power, P, you know, horsepower. You need to know uh, uh, cavitation, right, the net positive suction head. D, pipe network analysis. Uh, pipe network analysis is uh, not tested in the AM, I think it's not, but it is testing the PM, so you need to, so it's basically two, right? Series, series, pipe A, pipe B, connecting to each other. Parallel, pipe A, pipe B, they're not connected to each other directly. You need to know that. Um, number three, hydraulic open channel. Open channel A, so you need to know the Manning's equation. Manning's equation is the most important equation that you need to know for if you're taking the water depth. Basically, it's calculating for the pipe size. Pipe size is the diameter of the pipe, which comes from A area. So the equation for the Manning's equation is Q equals 1.49 over constant N, which is roughness coefficient, times area, times hydraulic radius to the power of 2 over 3, times square root of slope. So if you purchase uh, the uh, calculator that is uh, re uh, that is allowed on the uh, test, you need to find a calculator that has a math solver. So if you don't have that, then you need to plug, plug and check. So yeah, you can plug and check because all the answers given to you, you can just try out each one. But if you have a math solver calculator, incredibly more easier um, B hydraulic energy dissipation um, so you need to know the hydraulic jump C stormwater collection you need to know uh, co the culvert equation which is tested a lot uh, D sub and sub critical flow so you need to know the equation for critical depth um, hydraulic jump again, subflow, critical flow, supercritical flow, the difference between them. Um, this will be a three-part series. Uh, this is part one. I have an incredibly well thought out formula sheet for both the AM and PM portion. It took me a very long time to type and construct. It has everything that you will need. Um, I know the PM is a little bit more difficult to follow, um, so if you want a copy of my uh, study guide slash formula sheet, um, you can purchase it. Um, email me at themillennialengineer at gmail.com. Um, continue checking out uh, part two and three of the, the PM portion.